Carl? Yes? Can you help me peel these vegetables, please? Well, yes. If I could find a peeler, I would. There we go. That's not a peeler. It's a paring knife. Carl, a good sharp chef's knife or a good sharp paring knife are the most important tools in anybody's kitchen. And you can perform any task, whether it be cutting or peeling, any task. Oh, really? Well, how am I supposed to peel a carrot with a paring knife? <sighs> Observe. Observe. See? Easy peasy. I have a new name for you. What? MacGyver. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of One Chef, One Critic. I'm Carl Wells, food critic for The Telegram. And I'm Chef Steve Watson of Central Dairies. Well, Steve, uh, you are a dab hand with a paring knife, no mm. doubt about it, but you actually do believe in using peelers. Absolutely, Carl. Like having a good, sharp chef's knife or a paring knife in the kitchen, you also want a good, sharp peeler as well. So after a couple of years, you'll find that they get dull, and you've kept them in a the drawer. They get beat around a little bit as well and things like that. You've even probably put them in the dishwasher, which takes the temper out of the peeler. So right. the old one goes, the new one stays, and again, Okay, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peeling. So uh, when, it, when it starts to get dull and difficult to use, bin it. Bin it. Get exactly. It. Okay. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. They're not that expensive. No, they're not. No. Uh, coming up in the program today, our special guest is Kathy Hicks. Kathy is the CEO of Spirit of Newfoundland Productions. And this year, 2017, they're celebrating a very special anniversary. It's their 20th year Ooh. of operation. How about that? And what are we going to be cooking with Kathy? We've got some roasted Israeli couscous, and we're going to be serving that with a kale salad. Ooh, Israeli mm. couscous, mm. no less. And, speaking of Spirit of Newfoundland, our guest chef today is none other than Peter Halley, mm -hmm. the co-owner of Spirit of Newfoundland Productions. And uh, Peter is going to prepare something called a spirit salad for us, and uh, we can't wait to see that. Stay tuned. For a complete listing of One Chef, One Critic recipes, wine lists, and more, check out our website. Let us know what you think of the show at 757-9600. And as always, it's a great pleasure to have Kathy Hicks in the kitchen. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> to say that. Quick intro, wasn't it? Absolutely. You know, uh, 2017, we're celebrating, uh, 2017, 2018, we're celebrating our 10th anniversary. Uh -huh. And um, we realized when we were going back through the archives that you were our very first guest Isn't that ten, fantastic? 10 years ago. First guest and thankfully not the last. No. <laughs> right? Ten. You've got 10 seasons out so of that. Is. Way to set the pace, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, here you are again. And on that first episode, we were teaching you how to cook something in a microwave oven, right. as I recall. I know, not so, so today, uh, we're obviously trying to turn you into a vegetarian. <laughs> He's cooking with purpose. Right? Yes, 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 yes. This is all very healthy looking, Steve. What, what are we actually doing? Actually, what we got here, Kathy, I've got some uh, Israeli uh, couscous. Sure. It's a Durham wheat uh, uh, semolina. And the uniqueness about this one is we don't just boil it straight away, we have to roast it in the pan. Oh. So, Carl, can I just get you to turn that up a little bit? Oh. Why do you have to roast it? Well, to get some more flavours, some caramelisation through there. And we're also going to be roasting that with some zucchini as well. Right. And then we'll be adding a little bit of water. We'll cook that through, but we'll get it on the stove for a start. A little bit of oil in there. Olive. Olive oil for okay. this one, yeah. And then we're going to add our semolina to that and I'm going to give, get you to stir it because it's oh, going to good. turn brown then you that see. That will so. matter so it's like yeah this is totally Middle Eastern. Right? Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. It's okay. also known as uh, it, it's widely known as Israeli couscous, couscous but it's also known as pearl couscous, pearl couscous. because of the nature of the shape. Because yeah, it looks well. like pearls yeah. when it's cooked and, and, and it gets fairly big too. It does it'll swell right into. And I love it because of the texture I just think it's one of those Fun textures in your mouth. You know? mm, I love, yeah, I love the smell of uh, olive oil right. cooking yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it will brown, and I'm going to pop out. Uh, so it's important to get oil over all of it while you're roasting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we've so. got um, 
Yes. That's zucchini, and right? The zucchini, yeah. Right. And we've got some uh, heat on there as well. And um, you can put some Turkish uh, apricots in there, but I've got some California dried pears. Oh, there goes the Middle Eastern one. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, so I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got east That's to west, so to speak. And yeah. we're also going to be putting some roasted pine nuts in this as well. Sure. Could okay. you put? Uh, could you put like tinned tinned apricots? No, it'd it be too soggy. I want that firmness there in the salad. So. Okay. So this is a salad we're making. It's a salad, yeah, and we're going to be serving that with some, salad, yes. with, with some kale as well. So right. kind of a cooked salad, though. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. So Indeed. what's the temperature? This has to be like on high or on low, or roast a long time, uh, or what do you think? Well, we're, we're going to be roasting for about four minutes until it's golden brown. Okay. And we've got that on quite a high heat. I've got her up on bus now. On bus now. Okay. <laughs> Don't be smoking. Don't right? be smoking. No, Don't no, no. no. <laughs> I cooked yesterday and I had to go three times on the garlic and the onion. I burnt it every time. And I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Focus. It, it happens. I'm a beautiful right. aroma through the house. It's yeah. easy to get distracted too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So California pears dried. It's, yeah. It's Rather like, unique, aren't they? Yeah. They're beautiful looking. I think the flavor is going to go very, very well with what we have. Right. Sure. Okay. Nice julienne cut there, uh, yep. Stephen. Right. Mm. Stephen knows how to do his chopping. Did yeah. I do my chopping? Right. Carl taught me all this kind of right. stuff. Right. He, he hovers over me while we're doing it. Yeah, <laughs> the value, it. though, of a great chopper is immeasurable really it is it is you know? in any kitchen in our sure. kitchen yeah at the spirit of newfoundland it's just and you, you had to chop and i was one of the worst. and a sharp knife and a sharp, and a sharp knife, knife sure indeed. yeah yes. mm -hmm. so kathy um i was i was i've been reminiscing you know i remember the first time we met you were working at q radio q, yeah. and you were a journalist back i was 12 years back People in the day yeah, yeah. and uh uh, I always watched you from a distance now because you were the CBC weatherman, which is awesome. <laughs> so you were one of my mentors. Um, Twelve years I was doing morning shows, uh, radio, yeah. TV, yeah. Yeah. and uh, the TV we did a lot of cable programs, you know. That's right, yeah. So including on Rogers, cable, yeah. that was great, some early programs. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. My best friend uh, is Deborah Well Smith who helped right. start, be part of the... Uh, a right. part of One Chef, One Critic. Yeah, that's right. She got the job that I was looking for, I remember, when she went to Rogers. and oh. uh, Because when I left radio, I thought I'll go into TV. She got the job. She was the best choice. They got the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and of course, um, she was responsible for starting Out of the Fog. Yes, a lot of those shows. She was yep. the station manager at the time. Yes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, we have that history. Yeah. and But, but uh, to just go back uh, mm -hmm. to the beginning. You you were a corner book girl, right? From corner book, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's where I first yeah. went into radio, actually, and I remember the station manager there, and he called me back. He said, you've got a really good voice. Can you read? I, said, <laughs> yeah. I can yeah. read. Yeah. <laughs> I got the job. I didn't know how to use a microphone, but I got the job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then, of course, uh, 12 years of that, and that led to Spirit of Newfoundland. Yeah. And uh, yeah. with Peter so, and I, yeah. So that's very interesting, too, because, I mean, dinner theater, I mean, you didn't invent dinner theater, obviously. No, no. But what you created mm -hmm. here in Spirit of Newfoundland was something really uh, special and in its own way unique, uh, and, and, and it's, it's made such a mark. Hasn't it? Incredible. Well, yeah. 20 years. Yeah. And then I was counting up, we, you know, on the body of work, we actually had like 92 shows in that 20 years. Wow. Now, 92. some of them are repeats, but, you know, yeah. with yeah. different yeah. casts, and, you know, right. relaunches, yeah. and, uh, and it's how, unbelievable. How, how, did it, how did it actually happen? Because you had, you had been with CBC at the time, and then yes, you left. Yes, I left there, yeah. Then, I was going to be part of the cuts, yeah. so I said I wasn't having that. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, Peter and I had started a, um, a summer project mm -hmm. for the celebration of Newfoundland's uh, 500th. Oh, and right. then so yes. yeah, and I had background with the uh, with the dinner theater in PEI, oh. just by covering it as a journalist and reporter. Right. I thought it was yeah. brilliant, you know. Yeah. Just, and so and Peter himself, and Peter's so creative, and right. and of course he writes them, mm. and uh, yeah. So then, so I think that this kind of it went better than we thought it was going to. Nobody could plan for success. Mm. Well, I suppose you can plan all you want, <laughs> but you don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah, that's right. And especially in St. John's. And well, I think the success of it is not only the quality of the team and the and the mm. characters and the the acting and the singing, the vocal. Like when Peter, uh, you know, there's one thing that he makes happen is that no matter what the character and the accent or whatever, you never compromise the song. 
That's right. So yeah. you come out of character for the song. So when you honor the song like that, and you honor the art of acting, yeah. and and it's the audience interaction. It's the same reason why Cirque du Soleil is so uh, mm. successful. It's the audience interaction, and you know, and and we have great joy. You know, when you give great joy and you get great joy, and it's all sort of, I mean, roast, how do yeah. you not have that on the fr every Friday night? Okay, Kathy, we've mm. got a nicely roasted. All oh, right, we're uh, cooking. We're cooking. <laughs> I'm going to take the lid off here. I've got uh, two and a half take cups of water. Take the lid off of it. Carl, I'm going to get you to get that lid. I'm going to get you to just stand back just one second. Yes. Just because all the steam's going to come up. We're going to put that in there. Oh, Carl, you can put the lid straight oh, on there. The noise. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. And the aroma's starting to come now yes, through I the roasted taste. couscous. So we're going to leave that on there Beautiful. for about four to five minutes. Now, should you I'm turn the heat down for you this? Just turn it down to a simmer now, Carl. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Turn it down to a simmer. Just to a simmer. Cut the noise down. Down. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've cleaned My mother some, used to say that. I've yes. cleaned some kale, kale now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some lemon juice in there and our pine nuts. And, of course, we'll put our California uh, pears in at the last minute into the couscous. Then we'll toss that all up and then we're ready to. Fabulous. Mm. That's the other thing about our dinner and show because it is dinner and show. And so yeah. you're, it's all about food. People love their food, and then they to get it all in one. The yeah. food, there's, the last. There's so the many chocolate. elements to yeah. to your business, and right. you know, bottom line is it is a, it is a business. But you yeah. you actually have our a commerce. Is our Didn't you have a commerce degree or get a? I studied no, I studied uh, commerce okay. in uh, university, and I left that to join the CGA program, the Certified oh. General Accountants, okay. which is now has uh, transformed into CMA, I think. Uh, but that has certainly management. stood you in good stead, I'm sure. The numbers. Um, I yeah. take care of the numbers. That's right. Peter takes care of the creative. Yeah. I can't say I love that I take care of the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it gets boring after a while, yeah. right? That's right. And uh, yeah. yeah, so it's uh, you know it's all of it together. It's been a great package. I think the celebration of Newfoundland really is what's yeah. helped you know its success. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take care of the wine. Okay, I'm good. going to go to the wine cellar and all get right. a wine to go with this. Uh, this get might something. be a challenge today. It's going yeah. to be interesting. We always like challenges. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see what they have to say about it. Perfect. Hey, I'm going to kind of guess in my mind what he's going to get, but yeah, yeah. let's see if I'm right. <laughs> so I'll just put a little bit of lemon. lemon juice on there. You got yeah. your Z, what are you, the Reamer? Reamer right Reamer. there, absolutely. They work perfectly well. And I like lots of lemon juice in there. Then we'll sprinkle some I, of our... I was remarking on your big lemon. Yeah. It's amazing. Right? How big that is. We were very thankful when we went to the store. We had some beautiful lemons there. And oranges yeah. were there as well. So, so a lot of pine nuts Kale, there. lots of pine nuts. Lots of pine nuts. A little bit of salt and salt pepper. Salt and pepper, always. And we'll right. just let that sit for just for a little while. Hi, Katie. Hi, Carl. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Well, we have a, a really nice, I'd say a luncheon dish today. Yeah. It's pearl couscous and kale salad. Perfect. So, a vegetarian dish. So, yes. what would Dialogue Wines recommend we pair? Well, with I would say you should go with a white wine, but since there are some people who will only drink red, That's right. we've got some options here for you today. Uh, the first wine that I've brought is actually from the Rhone and the Languedoc region, regions of France. It's called the Petit Savier Blanc. Mm -hmm. So, it's a blend of Sauvignon Blanc, Picpoul, and Grenache Blanc. So, so that, that, that's a little bit dry. It is. It's very dry, but it's going to have some exotic fruits in there. It's got a floral note, like a wisteria, and it's okay. got the grassy notes. So it's got a nice flavor profile. It does have a really good flavor profile for you to mix with yep. there. Um, my second wine is called Le Blanc Limé. Mm. So it's also a Sauvignon Blanc based wine. It's got some Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon from Entre de Mer in France. This is kind of a fun wine because it's a throwback. The, t the slogan is Le Goût d'Autrefois, which means a taste of yesteryear. So the winemaker wanted to recreate a drink that was popular in the brasseries of Paris mm -hmm. in the 1940s and 50s. Mm. So it's a dry wine, it's got some citrus fruits added, and a little bit of spritz. I was going to say, it's got, it's got citrus on the label. It so does. So <laughs> it it had better have some citrus taste. <laughs> some lime in there, <laughs> some grapefruit, and the little spritz with a okay. semi-sparkling. Yep. And for those who like red, I have a Chateau de Fouillot, a Brouille. So Brouille is a Cru of Beaujolais, so this is a Gamay wine. Mm. So it's going to be very light, light yeah. and it has undergone some carbonic maceration, so it's going to be very fruity, it's got a little bit of a candied note in there, mm. you're going to get some blueberries, some cherries, and a little bit of licorice. Mm. Yeah, I'd go for that too. What about the prices? So this one is $19, yep. this one's about $20, and about $27. Okay. Well, you know what? Since you mentioned this was uh, kind of a throwback and fun, 
Uh, that's what I'm in the mood for today. Perfect. <laughs> so, that would have been my first choice as well. <laughs> I'm going to pick the Blanc Limé. Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. Okay. So we'll just add our wilted kale and our Israeli couscous onto the plate, like so. A nice serving. And one more. Now let's go and meet both Kathy and Carl in the dining room. How was that for a pour? Nice boy, I'm looking at <laughs> You know one. what? I could, I could I work. Tip it. I could work at Spirit of Newfoundland mm. as a sommelier. <laughs> Can I smell? I won't oh, yes. take any. Mm. Wow. 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 You, you smell with your mouth too, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. This looks gorgeous. Yes. Have a sniff of this. Look, mm -hmm. that's good. Mm. Maybe. Um, maybe. Now we should taste it. Do you want to put your glasses on to taste it, or do you? Did yeah. you notice that I brought stuff to celebrate? Yes, we we. Oh Rice? yes, we should point out Rice. that we have a, a celebration. We have party. We have <laughs> party favors. We have party favors. Uh, you know, it says celebrate because we're celebrating. <laughs> this is 20. We're filming in 2017. And this is the 10th anniversary of One Chef, One Critic, and it's the 20th anniversary of Spirit, Spirit of New Land Productions. Right? So, and, uh, so, so for that we get an award. We've got, we've got right? the... We've got the uh, right, and Steve, your glasses. <laughs> and we have a... So it's like a celebration. Yeah. Uh, you we don't have, mind if I brought that, don't we have you? The, no, no, we have the famous Screech Cake. Yes, Spirit of uh, New yeah. yes. And uh, we have these. <laughs> the screech cake is good. I always say and, it's good for eighteen hundred years. And since we're because in of the rum in it, and since we're into shameless self promotion, oh, yes. <laughs> we have the cooking with one chef, one critic cookbook. Thank you. Can I thank you not only for the cookbook, for in the cookbook I'm in there, yeah. and you have me sandwiched between. Gorgeous Alan Hanko, gorgeous Rex Gowdy, gorgeous John Hunt, all the gorgeous guys, okay. right? Okay. I'm sandwiched right in there. Thank you for that. Thank yeah. you. Right? We so, thought about you, Kat. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. I, you just reminded me of that. So you we did. You look fabulous in yeah. your glasses. Thank and you Steve, very much. look at you. You're a rock star. <laughs> yeah. I'm a rock star. <laughs> Right? So everybody at home is now saying, uh, "Oh, get on and get on with tasting the, right. the salad." Okay, so good. So we I, need I to can't eat with these on. I'm well, sorry. Well, I can. I take them off. <laughs> and I'm because, going to because I'm matching the, I the need plate. To see, I need to see my food. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Oh my! I like the pine nuts to it. Mm. Yeah. Couscous pine nuts. Mm. 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 California I have, pears. pears yeah. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of raw. Mm. Kale, but this is cooked a bit. It, it yes. is it, yeah. so it's yeah. quite quite palatable. Yeah, it's mm. you're eating like a rock star, mm. <laughs> right? Absolutely, right? <laughs> oh, with those glasses on you. Are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This it's is beautiful. really good. Yeah, I love it. Thank mm. you for this too. Mm -hmm. So, Kathy, mm -hmm. I have to ask. Twentieth mm -hmm. anniversary. Do you have any any big? Plans for celebrating the 20 years? The whole years? year we've been celebrating. We started with a cruise mm -hmm. um, down the Caribbean, so why else would you, how else would you celebrate it? Mm -hmm. um, a huge concert at Holy Heart, plus it's just a year full of events, mm -hmm. a special 20th anniversary mm -hmm. show, but the reunion concert is what it really has brought everyone together, right. and that was this summer at yeah. uh, Holy Heart. And there it's are wonderful. so many yeah. uh, Spirit of Newfoundland alumni. Oh my gosh, Susan Kent, this hour is 22 minutes, uh, Petrina Bromley on mm. Broadway now, yeah. Tim Baker, Hey Rosetta, like it goes on, Jonathan oh Monroe, uh, you know, Kristen Pellerin uh, yeah. from, wow. uh, you I know, it's no just, a, oh yeah, all well, these were, you know, show after wonderful. show after show, so we hope they're going to all come home sometime this year and Re really celebrate wonderful. with us. Congratulations yeah. on your uh, Thank you. 20th year. Right. Oh yes, uh, put glasses back, back on. Now. Where we go. Uh, here we have, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to, one Chef, One Critic, and Spirit of Newfoundland, right. and we will be back. This is the Spirit of Newfoundland show. We're going to come back with Peter Halley, uh, co-founder, and uh, he's going to make an appetizer for us, so I'll stick around. <laughs> Great. Woo! They don't make noises. What is that, Steve? <laughs> well, as thousands of audience members of Spirit of Newfoundland shows have uh, known over the past 20 years, can you believe it? It's the 20th anniversary of Spirit of Newfoundland this year. Uh, our next mm -hmm. guest can act, 
he can sing, he plays a musical instrument, maybe more than one, uh, and he can dance. But did you also know that Peter Halley can cook? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can he? I didn't know yeah, that. Can he? I didn't, I, <laughs> can he? Oh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> okay, no. I love to cook. I do. And uh, but I'm saving my skills because I, I'm I'm still in the middle of a kitchen reno that's been mm -hmm. oh. ongoing for two years. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I got propane um, cooktop. Mm. And, oh, uh, excellent. Yes. Yeah. So today we won't need propane or anything. Okay. No. So what are we what, what are we going to be making? It well, looks, it looks. I have to say, first of all, it looks very healthy. And eating <laughs> eating clean, as yeah. they say, is a big Deal these days. Absolutely. It's a big, yeah, very trendy. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I, so you're a very trendy, Peter. I am a trendy guy. <laughs> and, and this is so, you know, when you mentioned an appetizer, yeah. I thought, mmm, okay, appetizer. Uh, and this is one of the go to things for me because you're right, it's completely healthy. I even brought some notes today to yeah. talk about exactly how healthy. Okay. Um, so as far as presentation yeah. is concerned, I don't know, you know, how this. Well, I think you've got lots of color and everything else. Lots of color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the ingredients are uh, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, red onions, walnuts, mm -hmm. uh, and then just mayonnaise. I prefer Hellman's. I yeah. love yeah, Hellman's yeah, mayonnaise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, garlic, fresh garlic. And uh, organic pepper. So you got an organic, um, an aioli going. It's there, an aioli, right? and yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, it very little because it does cover this the, the the cabbage really well. Okay. And so where I came up with this was uh, years ago. I was feeding really exhausted and um, and not well. And so I went to um, I went to the wellness center, and there was a, a guy who who had lived here for many years, a Russian violinist, Sergei Shpornov which many people would come up to me and say, oh, I loved, I loved you playing in the symphony, you know, because apparently I looked, we looked alike. And oh, I, yeah. I could see, and then people would say, oh, you sang at my uncle's funeral, and yeah, Sergei yeah. would reply with this <laughs> Russian accent. Anyway, he's a nutritionist, holistic uh, guy, as well as a musician, and he said, try this salad. Okay. And I said, wow, great. And he told me the ingredients, came home and made it, and I was really impressed with the... Did you feel good? After? Well, I did. Better after? I did. In fact, I made a little sample last night before I went to bed, and I really was tired, and I thought, okay, I am wide awake now. I think it's that salad, so oh, yeah, yeah. don't eat this like before a, you go like to bed. A, like a double espresso. So. Yeah, so maybe it's a good thing to have Wonder in the morning. Salad. So can we mix some up? At the, um, uh, six yeah, six absolutely. Six. So um, what we should do is just uh, just whip in the aioli, which yeah. is, and if you like garlic, just give it to her, because give, it's, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. Mm. and you'll see, because fresh garlic, and you don't um, want to overdo it. You can use the tongs if you wish yeah, to. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll just muck that in. Sorry, yeah. sorry about my... Uh, you can just give that to me. Yeah. You know, that's no problem. Thanks, Steve. So, yeah, and then... Um, so, like a good student, last night... I'm probably going to get you, if you don't mind, just to put it in a bit more there. A little bit more. Like yeah. a good student, I found out, like, why this was such a healthy choice. And the red cabbage, rich in an antioxidants... Um, uh, it's very low in calories, so it's, yeah, thanks. Uh, I have these assistants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, rich in dietary fiber, so it works really well for weight loss. Yeah. Uh, Savoy, uh, and, and it's also rich in vitamins and minerals. Savoy helps uh, with type 2 diabetes, full of antioxidants, decreases uh, the risk of cardiovascular disease. Think about how good this is for you. Absolutely. Vitamin A, C, B6, magnesium, potassium. The walnuts. How impressive these things are. Mm. Um, full vitamin E, omega-3 fats. Also, it increases, I thought this was interesting, inferential reasoning in young adults. Uh, so there's okay. going to be a bunch of people. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to need to go to a dictionary now. <laughs> I don't know. It's good for their minds. So, go. so just take a little bit of the red cabbage, make a little bowl out of it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah and then the walnuts, um, these are just the regular walnuts. Um, yeah, yeah. But just to make it a little bit more decadent, since mm -hmm. we're doing a television show, putting on the dog, yeah. we can um, use a little bit of fresh uh, salted uh, butter, not margarine, of course, yeah. and, um, and brown sugar. And just roll these in there. And caramelize oh, it in the fryer. Caramelize them. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. They, these are just, you just, are you no, walnut no, friendly? No, no, no. So really candied not. walnuts. Yeah, really yeah. And, and they're good for your brain. Mm. And your memory. I can tell. All right. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Some, and but these ones are not the candied ones. So, you know, just just to make it a little... Um, just sprinkle some on that top there. Yeah. Yeah. Sprinkle those on there. And so you have sweet, okay, salty, um, all these things. And by the way, I went to the doctor years later. And he said, so when did you have mono? I'm gonna try, what? And it came up in my oh. blood work, and I said, I, I don't think I ever had mono. And he said, you did. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's healthy. It's probably not the most. Uh, oh. He can manage it. Yep. And crunchy. Mmm. Now this is the this is the base test. I'm, I'm getting a real garlic hit. It's a mm. it's a good garlic hit. I Which think that's good. yeah. I love garlic. I love garlic too. Peter, that's fantastic. I'm calling it the Sergey salad. The Sergey okay. salad. Favorite <laughs> salad. Thank you, Sergey Sporno. And, and thank thank you, Sergey. Thank you, Peter Halleck, for being on the show. Uh, I love Always it. Always great you. to have you. Thank you, Carl. And that's thank it you, for Steve. this edition of One Chef, One Critic. <laughs>